basics here and I'm going to teach you the advanced version of the flutter and I'm going to try to do this fast because each time I've recorded it I've got higher than 10 minutes haha <laughs> so um, what I've done differently in this flutter was I put a version so this is version 1.2 so I'm going to fix that as in 1.0 was first 1.1 was intermediate and now this is advanced 1.2 now this is the ending version uh, you didn't start off with this and I'm going to show you everything I pre-coded it so that it'll take faster it'll take um shorter for the recording anyways I added a a copyright just a link back to uh, where you can find the person that made it and I added the save button so just add another button and name it save the text save make it look like this and then add two, uh, one label and one link label and one label should say created by and the other label should be the link okay and it should look like this then click the label itself the link label the, lab the label that's linked and you want to type in this which is I'll just retype it system dot diagnostics dot process dot start then in parentheses you put HTTP forward slash forward slash whatever the URL is so YouTube dot com slash VB basics then in and parentheses oh and quotes then parentheses and there you go and that's the link so I don't want to so I'm just gonna delete this one and that's how it should look give you a second and we're moving on go to flutter um, and go to click my projects I'm already here just now but on here click my projects and it should show applications go down to settings add four settings text one text two text three text four I mean in time sorry not text for time uh, just like this pause the video if you ever need to now go back to the form and click save now I have the settings already saved look at it if you want if you can see it um, it's basically and I'm gonna retype it, everything settings dot text one equals text box one dot text and then you, what you do is you copy this and then you paste it two times under and then you change the one here to a two and then the one here to a two and then one here to a three one here to a three paste it one more time okay change the one here to a four I mean change this to time and change this to a four and then under that put settings dot save it should look like that okay just like that now for form load just if you don't have form load already set just go back to the thing click the form itself and you should have form load for form load it should look just like this except opposite without the save settings this is the load settings to load type in text box box one dot text equals settings dot text one and then you copy this and paste it three more times under one two three so you have four forms um, change the one on the second line to two one on the third line to three and change this to time and not text one now for here change text box one to two text box one to three and text box one to four so it should look like that delete this and that's how it should look now for the reset button we have a few new features it should look like this right that's how we left it off if we have it just copy that down I'm not sure if we left it off like that or not um, now what we've added is text box for reset so just type in text box for dot text 
equals one. Okay, that's all you need for the text box one. And we're saving the settings again. So what we do is we're just gonna go click save on the form, copy this whole thing, go back to the form, click reset, and paste that on the bottom, right there. Okay? Now we have added a few more features. Go on the way way top, type in dim and you're gonna have errors already. Um, you should be seeing errors. I'm actually gonna put, post an annotation saying don't worry about the errors um, because I should have showed you this first. Type in dim settings as new my dot my settings on the top right under form one. Okay? I have two. There, now I have one. Haha. <laughs> now we're gonna add a public declare sub, okay? So type in private, I mean a private declare sub, private declare sub sleep lib kernel 32 then in parentheses put bival dw milliseconds as long and then end parentheses and there that's what you got okay Let's see what my issue is I have an error I don't want you to get an error um I think it's because I have um, more than one private declare sub sleep kernel 32 then it says comma or whatever is expected just copy the top one though they both don't look different yeah, just copy that right here. And this is the a sleep timer. Um, we also have to do this for button. Go to start, and we have to type in button one. Button one dot enabled equals false. And then under it, button two dot enabled equals true. Okay. Copy this, Control C, then go to the stop button, and the stop button, paste it. Okay, so let me delete this, paste it, and switch them around. Where it says false, put true, and where it says true, put false. Okay, that's so if you click start, start will be um, kind of pushed in until you press stop okay um, now you should see something that says timer one dot interval interval equals text box four dot text and the uh, zero 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 change that zero 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 to a zero zero one okay now we have the sleep feature in here let's add it in um, after every enter that you see on timer one so if you're not there just click timer one and we have uh, send keys dot send then we have send keys dot send for the enter key, right? Under that, you want to type in sleep, then in parentheses text box four dot text, and then the and so control seven and and in quotes zero zero one end quotes and the parentheses. Copy this, okay, and paste it for each one. And that's that's what you get. I hopefully that didn't take too long to explain, and you'd have to pause a lot. <laughs> but this is what you get. And when you type in words and press save, and close it out, and open it up, it saves it for you. And when you click start, start gets faded out. Stop um, is pop is the only thing you can press. Um, hello there YouTube goes each by each second 
so the speed is correct no errors with the speed you press stop and stop gets faded okay so you can't press stop more than once and when you press reset everything gets clear and it gets saved when it's clear and everything gets stopped so reset reset is like a kill switch basically hope you enjoyed this tutorial for advanced